Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Today's another recreation video, a very highly requested video from last week. A lot of you sent me this picture right here of Hina Khan entering Big Boss and you wanted me to recreate this look, so here it is. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to hit the like button and share my video. And without wasting much time, let's get this started. As always, I'm starting with my brows, taking the darkest color from the Ardell Brow Defining Kit. I'm going to fill in the sparse areas using an angled brow brush. If you look at Hina Khan's brows, they're pretty long on the sides and mine are shorter. So I'm just going to fill in the sparse areas as well as pull it on the sides just to make it a little bit longer. Next, taking my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Nude, I'm going to clean up the borders of my brows. To prime my face, I'm using the Rimmel Lasting Finish Primer and I'm going to use a little bit extra in areas where I have more dry skin. Using the Concealed Palette from Coastal Sense, I'm going to take this orange color corrector and I'm going to use it around my face where I have dark circles, dark patches as well as dark spots and then I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. I'm going to then set this with my NYC loose powder before I apply any foundation over it because I don't want the orange color to mix with the foundation and my face to appear orange. Some of you told me that setting the color corrector makes your skin dry or cakey. Well the deal is to use very little powder. If you look at my brush, I barely have powder. I'm just touching my skin. I'm not adding too much powder. When you add too much is when it starts looking cakey. So you just add enough to mattify the cream color corrector. For foundation, I'm using Artistry Youth Extend in the color Brulee, and I'm going to be applying this on my face with a damp beauty sponge. Again, when you have color correction underneath, you always apply the foundation with a beauty sponge and never with a brush because you don't want the bristles to pull off the color from underneath and mix with your foundation. Hina Khan definitely had a very visible highlight as well as contour on her face and we will try to achieve the same. First to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Nude. I'm going to be applying this on the highest planes of my face and I'm going to blend it out with a damp beauty sponge. To set the concealer under my eyes before it starts creasing, I'm using the NYC loose powder once again and again I'm going to be using very little. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Cover All Press Powder from Wet n Wild in the color medium. I'm taking my favorite large powder brush and I'm going to press this gently into my skin. Now to contour my face, I'm using the color fawn from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit and I'm going to be using this in the hollows of my face as well as underneath my jawline. To add that sun-kissed warmth, I'm using the Bronze Booster from Physicians Formula. To even out the skin tone of my lids, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Nude. I'm going to be applying this with a concealer brush and then I'm going to set it with my NYC Loose Powder before I apply any eyeshadows over it. Let's pull up Hina Khan's picture and look at her eyes. If you look at her eye makeup, it's very simple. She has a very well-defined crease and most of the color is concentrated in the outer corners. She has some brown as well as a reddish brown going on in the outer corners and it's a very well-defined crease and that's exactly what we will try to achieve here. 
From my Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, first I'm taking the color Burkina, which is a soft brown color, and I'm going to focus this color in the crease. So this is going to be my transition color. I'm going to start with the outer crease and in small circles start bringing it towards the inner crease using my large blending brush from Sigma. This is the Sigma E40. Because she has a reddish brown color going on in the outer crease, I'm taking the color Ada and I'm going to focus this right in the outer part of my crease and I'm going to use first a fluffy brush to apply this color and then I'm going to blend it out with the brown color using my Wet n Wild Dispersed Blending Brush. To soften the lower lash line in the outer third, I'm taking the color Burkina and I'm going to smoke this out just in the outer corners of my lower lash line. To have a visible, well-defined lid like she has, I'm going to apply this bone color from my Smashbox Full Exposure palette in my lids and I'm going to define my crease as well so you have a well-defined crease as well as a lid using this color. She definitely has an illuminated face and to illuminate my face I'm using the So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to be using this on the highest planes of my face. Uh, just to get the kind of glow that she has on her face. Next, I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara. And the mascara that I'm using today is from L'Oreal. It's their Voluminous Lash Paradise. For lashes, I'm using the Amaze Mink Lashes from Babella Cosmetics. I really love these lashes. It makes your eyes look so much more brighter. I've included a link to their website in the description box below. She's definitely lined her top lash line. It's not exaggerated and it doesn't have a wing or anything. It's just a plain simple line. And for that, I'm going to be using my NYX Matte Liner in black. I'm going to use this right on top of my lash band so it hides my lash band while I also line my top lash line. Her lips are a vampy red and for that I'm using Cherry Bomb from Wet n Wild but before that I'm going to be lining with a similar color lip liner again from Wet n Wild. And here's the final look my friends let me know your thoughts on this look I hope you like the way this turned out if you did don't forget to hit the like button share my video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed I hope you're following me on social media if not all the links are down below in the description box that's where I give you little snippets and behind the scene images of how I create these jewelry and costumes for all my shoots I love you guys so much and I'm really excited about next week because I'm Going to be posting two highly requested videos again and I'm super excited about it. I'll see you again on Tuesday with a brand new one. Bye guys.